Hey, so it's Friday night and I'm listening to some uh, Suburban Wrench. You can tell Trev Asta. Um, hey, shalom mi gente. How's it going? Uh, this is also part of my Bourbon Dojo, my backyard. And I uh, just picked up two Penelopes. Like we got a uh, Penelope, uh, the regular bourbon. Uh, it is their straight bourbon whiskey at the 80 percenter, right? Uh, and then this is their barrel strength, which is coming in at 116 proof. So uh, welcome and uh, let's do this. It's, uh, it's a solo stove night. Finally have a nice uh, cool uh, autumn winter here in uh, the Central Valley. And uh, it's my first solo venture of the, uh, of the, uh, of the season. Um, I'm out here like every weekend and I just enjoy it. And I'm usually enjoying my bourbon and I'm enjoying a couple of sticks. And uh, so I figured let's try to do a, uh, a little tasting outside. So uh, probably a little bit harder to see, but <laughs> I'm no looker so you all are straight. Um, and I will put good uh, picks up of these uh, somewhere here uh, so you can see with these bottles, pretty bottles. So Penelope's been out for a while, right? Um, and uh, it, it, really super good, you know, uh, they're procured uh, MGP uh, barrels and, you know, almost like Doc Swinson's, uh, probably, you know, a step ahead of Doc Swinson's and what they're doing over there is Penelope. Uh, and I got their website up right here. I'm gonna read a couple of things off of that. Um, but they just took it to the next level um, and they just have some great stuff. However, uh, in my bourbon journey, yeah, I just, I, I, haven't, I haven't gotten here yet. And tonight, right, Friday the 13th, uh, I am here, man, I'm stoked. Again, I was watching the Bourbon Ranch and, you know, uh, uh, just, great people over there they call themselves the nerds right and uh oh man great people great followers of trev over there and so uh i'm ready to go let me grab a little little palate cleanser of water well let's just get into it right yeah so uh this first one is the straight bourbon whiskey uh 80 proof um it is their four grain taste right so usually most bourbons and and whiskeys and, and whatnot uh they have three grains you know it could be a rye a corn and a, and a barley of sorts um you know this one is actually four it's a corn a rye a wheat and a malted barley um and i'll put up the the stats they have the stats uh on this one uh corner their website 75% corn, 15% wheat, 7% rye, and we got 3% malted barley. So, yep, non-chill filtered, a uh, blend of three different bourbon mash bills, um, all containing those four grains, and uh, it's about two to three years old. So, uh, we're gonna get right to it. Let's get right to it. Y'all know what this is. That came out, uh, I think, episode two. Got everybody on the same track with the neat EC. Uh, pretty excited. This is great. This is good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I'm on a pure review, so I'm not going to light up my stogies right now. Uh, I'll do that afterwards in my after hours channel. Um, here we go. Oh, yeah. Sounds just like the beginning of, uh, of my channel. And uh, you can hear the, the glugs. Um, Let's do this. Hey, what's really neat about uh, their website, and I'll put it up right here, it's uh, PenelopeBourbon.com, is uh, they give you their tasty notes and bourbon facts, and I think I'll post up some of these notes that I'm supposed to be getting, and we'll check off to see which ones that I do get in here. Um, so let's go for the nose on the 80 proof of bourbon. Sweet corn, sweet corn is, is the number one thing. Caramel, very light. I, I don't know if you can see the color. It is a lighter shade, 
obviously at, at an 80 uh, proofer. Uh, it's been cut down a little bit. Um, let's do this. Oh man, just a crack of the fire. This, this is, ah, been waiting for this all summer. So thanks for joining. Corn, it's like a light corn syrup. Um, uh, lighter fruits, uh, this says light oak. I don't really get the oak, I'm probably because of my solo stove. Uh, um, let's do this. Just caramel vanilla, very super light though. I think this is gonna be like an entry level. Um, someone new to whiskey or maybe even a summer, a light summer sipper. Uh, I think that's the way it's gonna go down. Let's, let's taste this. Hmm. Zan. It's for my, uh, my Korean folk. Um, yeah. So, uh, it's everything that I just, it, they, they, I'm supposed to get a candied note. I don't know if it's candied or if it's more of that, uh, like um, a pop tart, you know, when you, you, you do the strawberry pop tart, uh, you kind of have that, you know, little lingering strawberry flavor on the, the sides of the tongue. Either way, it is light. It's, it's what I call a crushable bottle. I got that from uh, Dan over there at Bur Bourbon Junkies. Um, it's very crushable. It, it could be gone tonight if I wanted it to. <laughs> mm. Hey, no complaints here for an 80 proofer. Um, it, it actually leaves me wanting because <laughs> I know I got the, uh, the cast strength right. Um, and we're gonna go into this right now. But I guess because I know I have the next level of a single barrel right here, um, this is beautifully put together. Uh, it, it tastes like a, a flagship, you know, bourbon should taste like. And that's exactly what it is. You know, uh, the body, the finish. They're saying a light buttercream icing. I don't know if I get a buttercream icing, but I definitely do get a, a frosting of sorts and it could be my palate. Um, yeah, yeah, it's an 80 proofer, right? And, and if you're gonna get an 80 proof. And what's concerning, right? Um, two to three years old, I think even on the bottle, it says uh, aged a minimum of 26 months uh, in a charred new American oak barrel, right? So at 26 months, right? A little over two years, you kind of are expecting kind of that ethanol, right? Uh, nail polish. Um, not so much, not so much. Maybe because it is cut down so much um, that it, it takes away, you know, those uh, those really pungent tannins uh, that one would get. But almost like a, uh, I get a little band aid kind of aroma. Hmm. I'm in. It's it's. I was gonna say it's cute, right? You know, and for an 80 proofer, it's deliciously cute. Um, let's get to, uh, to the nightcap. Bow, chicka, bow, wow. Yeah, uh, barrel strength, 116 proof. Um, they have this also on their website. They have four grains. They have one called an architect toasted bourbon. I think I want to get that toasted bourbon. I've heard good things about their toasted bourbons. Um, we're going to go to the barrel strength. Oh, these just, the, the bottle on their website looks exactly like the bottle that you get in the store. Uh, it, it looks dark and it looks dark. This is, it's, uh, it's not misleading, right? Okay, so on their barrel strength, um, four grain straight bourbon uh, whiskey, 115.2. I think mine is 116 proof. Uh, since they're single barrels, they're gonna vary, you know, up and down just a bit. Um, it's a blend of three bourbon mash bills uh, of four grains. There's that corn, the wheat, the rye, and the malted barley. This one though, uh, this one is at least, what, 26 months? This says four to six years old. 
Um, and if I didn't get that, uh, uh, that you know, uh, what is it? The can't even think right now. Um, if I can't get you know the nail polish you know taste on here, I don't. I'm not expecting to get it here, but it is a single barrel, so we shall see. Um, mash bill. Let's go with the mash bill. I'm going to put it up right here. 74% corn, 16 wheat, 7 rye, and 3 malted barley. Um, so yeah, let's just let's get down to it. I think, uh, I think I might need another log in the solo. Nice. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I hope you're all enjoying the videos. I'm having a kick out of uh, learning how to edit, um, getting some pointers here and there from uh, some fellow fellow YouTubers. So uh, appreciate that. Appreciate that. Let's go ahead and uh, there we go. Love my pores. I'll never short my pores ever. Ah, uh, love it. Love it. All right, hey, so a little bit darker, right? You know, um, I don't know how well this is gonna come out, <laughs> but take my word for it. This is lighter than this one. Um, should be, right? This is cut down to 80 proof. This ain't cut down for nothing. Uh, cutting down, most of us know, it's it just adding water. You cut it with water, you know, to get this 116 proof bottle down to 80 proof. Simple as adding water. Okay, uh, a little maple-y, um, sorry about that. I'm looking sweet caramel with hints of maple syrup, candied sweetness. I'm, I'm getting the maple. I'm actually getting a slight oak on this. A slight oak presence on mine, yep. <clears throat> there, there is no uh, um, hints of nail polish, ethanol. Oh, but uh, there, no flour, just a slight bit of uh, like uh, uh, a baking spice. Um, way different, you know, than here. This was like a lighter, you know, really super nice you know, uh, aroma of caramel and a little vanilla and just a little bit of uh, uh, um, tartness, you know, that, that pop tartness uh, on the nose and the, in, in the, uh, uh, the palate. But, oh, and it didn't last long either, you know. So there is no burn, there wasn't no tongue hugs, there was no warm fuzzies. Uh, it's just a light sipper, a light sipper. This one I am getting uh, more of the caramel, more of a baking spice, more of those, you know, tannins that uh, weren't washed out um, since it is a single barrel barrel proof. So yeah, let's go in for the, uh, the taste. Mm. What I was hoping for. What I was hoping for was this to the next level, right? Um, tongue hug. You get your tongue hug, it's oilier. You have a little bit more of a, a, a lingering finish to it. Um, you get the spices, you get the, the caramels, you, get, you do get a candied Pop-Tart, right? Um, yeah, even when uh, back to the nose, um, you're getting more of that fuller, kind of bold, you know, uh, flavor that you're kind of expecting for in, in a cask strength. What you're, what you're not expecting in a cask strength uh, of bourbon it is you don't want that really heavy tannin flavor, dry, bitter, right? You know, that could come from a heavily charred barrel. And if it's in there for seven to 10 years, you kind of, you know, you just don't want that dryness. Um, this is, this is great. What does it say? Four to six years old. Um, it's, gosh, they do such great stuff. Penelope bourbon. Mm.
candied. It's the candied caramel. Um, there is no fruit. I'm not getting any kind of a fruit of anything. It's a dark fruit, but really it's caramel. It's vanilla. It could have that, dare I say, you know, creme brulee. I don't know. Um, have to spend some more time with it maybe after it opens up a bit. I think it can go a little bit more than what I'm, what I'm having. These are called neck pours. Uh, and it's the first time you open up, first time it's had some air since it's been bottled. So, you know, once that air gets in there, um, uh, it kind of, you know, opens up a little bit. And so we'll see how it opens up. But uh, yeah, definitely, I can't wait for the toasted. I need me a toasted. Uh, prices on here. Uh, did I mention the Peacock? Uh, if you're in the Clovis area, uh, great little liquor store, right? And uh, uh, I think it's a carniceria. They have, they have you know, uh, Mexican meat and, and stuff. Um, called the Peacock. They have a great selection. My boys over there, uh, you know, they never steer me wrong. Said try the Penelope. Uh, $54, $54. So both of them were $54 over there. Um, and, you know, I don't know what the going price for Penelope is. I know, I think I saw the toasted for $74. Um, so with how these are coming off, uh, 25 bucks, 20 bucks more. I'll do, and I think it's at 100 proof. Um, I'll have to check those, but I think I'll be in for a toast here in the next week or two. Um, seeing how these both, you know, fancied my palate. Um, both of them are great. It's a, it's a, you find it, buy it. Thank you for sticking around this long for me. I, I'm, I'll, I'll be doing a solo stove review, a solo review uh, at least once uh, on the weekends uh, from here on out until uh, summer comes. Um, so we'll see what we have for the next one. I'll probably put out, you know, one or two more in between back in the uh, man cave. Uh, but um, hey, man, more than any time at all. Love somebody. Shalom, mi gente. Appreciate you. Peace.